Microsoft recently rolled out KB50-3375 cumulative update for Windows 11 version 23H2 and 22H2 to fix security vulnerabilities and improve Copilot. Installing the update is easy. You need to head over to Windows Update setting page. You will see the update on the right side. If it's not available, click check for update button and it should appear for sure. From there, you can download and install the update. There are various reports coming from users that they are not seeing Windows 11 KB50-3375 update while other users reporting that the update appeared for them but it stuck at some point while downloading or installing the update and later fails. If you landed on this video then it's highly possible that you are facing similar issues, right? Don't worry, in this video I will show you how to fix these issues. Before we move forward, we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to channel as this encourages us in creating similar videos. Alright, first solution is to restart your computer and then head over to Windows Update setting page, check for update again and check if this brings the update. If this solution fails, then try to clear Windows Update cache as most of the time performing this fixes issues related to Windows Update. I have already created a detailed video on how to do that so check the link in the description. In case clearing Windows Update cache also fails to fix the issue, then try resetting Windows Update components. Doing this not only clear Windows Update cache, but also reset all the crucial components that helps in proper functioning of Windows Update. I have created a detailed video on how to do that, so check the link in the description. If nothing helps in fixing the issue, then you can install Windows 11 KB50-3375 update using .msu package that can be downloaded from Microsoft. So head over to Microsoft Update Catalog page from the link in the description. Here you will find 4 updates for Windows 11 KB50-3375. If you are running Windows 11 version 23H2 on 64 base devices, then download and install this one. If you own an ARM based device, then download this one. Similarly, for Windows 11 version 22H2, download the .msu package depending on your system architecture. After downloading the package, run the .msu package and follow on screen instructions. The process will take 25 to 30 minutes to complete the installation. Now you need to restart computer when asked to do so. So that's all about this video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe the channel for getting notifications about whenever we upload new videos. Also please donate using the thanks button or link in the description as this encourages us in creating similar videos. Thanks for watching.